Now it's hot. Can't get comfortable. Alan's turning on the podcast for uh, Sandwich and Some Leaven, too, on that page. Was this on? Very sleepy. But I'm going to rally for the podcast. Alan's getting the podcast for Sandwich and Some Leaven set up. Go. We were up, I was up till 1 o'clock Monday morning because I was supposed to be on the air Monday and I still haven't recovered from that. And I started back doing the couch to 5K today and I'm just tired. I'm sorry, y'all. But I'll rally. I'll, I'll fake it. Should we just do this another time? When it's no, more, I've already, we've already promised. When I'm it's so more, tired. When it's more convenient for your sleeping schedule? <sighs> no. Because we have to have a podcast for tomorrow. We don't have one. Babe, we're going to have no podcast if we don't check this I thing. haven't turned it on yet. Okay. Does that thing get charged? It, no, but it's got batteries. Alan's worried that it's not going to have batteries. There. <sighs> How do I turn it on, though? I forget. It's been like two weeks since we've done it. Babe. I'm not I don't know. You're the technical person on this. Uh-oh. I mean, it's called ED. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's got battery. Oh, good. Okay, so anyway, it's uh, Wednesday night. Thank y'all for coming in and joining us when y'all could do a million other things. So we appreciate it. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to rally. Rally. Hey, on this, just real quick. I took that out, so there's just going to be, listen, just listen to me. There's going to be two, just two bars there, and uh, then I took all that out, so it'll be a lot easier. Okay? Uh, okay, Alan wants to sing Sweet Child of Mine tonight on the podcast, so we've rehearsed it, and now right why are you here. Giving, why are you giving away our song? Okay, well, because these people are early, and so now he's just changed it, and we haven't rehearsed it. We rehearsed it uh, four or five times. Twice. I heard more... Bitchin'. Bemoaning. I don't know this song. Bit, Everybody knows. Bit killing. It's out of my key, which I don't have a key except for alto. And we've gone through it twice. And now he's changed it. And you we're about what? to go live. I think all the, I think all the soothsayers. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I think all the soothsayers who said this podcast will be the death of us, they're, they're, they're actually correct. <laughs> So, I'm so tired. <laughs> all right. Well, you've got 30 minutes in you, okay? Okay. These people. We're going to do a podcast. we got a lot to cover. Alan made notes, and this is what I'm singing tonight with the crossed out parts. <sighs> it's going to be great. Aren't y'all glad y'all tuned in for Why this? Why don't you make it a surprise? I'm sorry, honey. Now people are tuning in. They don't know what we're talking about. Unbelievable. When are we going to start? You want to start down? What time is it? What time is it? after 8. I don't have a watch on. It's a little bit after 8. We said to join us for Facebook Live at 8, but we're going to start recording the podcast at any point. We can start when? Y'all ready? <laughs> Alan's going to fuss at me later. Mm-hmm. Why don't you fuss at me now? Let's keep it real. Oh, I'll keep it real. <laughs> you're going to see you gonna see real here in a minute. What are you... What? Are, what, what? You're going to see real. Yeah, show me real. Are you mad? <laughs> no. I'm just so tired. You're always tired. You're always bushed. Well, this has been a rough week. It week. has. You, you've been doing a lot of I, I started off Monday, and I haven't, like, caught up yet. I need a nap, but I can't do a nap because tomorrow I've got to, you know, I want to, but we're doing um, North Texas Giving Day if you're in the Dallas. Well, I guess anywhere in the world you can do this, but in North Texas they have this donation day where if you make a donation to a certain charity... Um, through this website, um, they'll match it. So it's a chance for kids' kids to raise a lot of money. So I'm going to be going out to North Park Mall in Dallas tomorrow after I get off the air. Kids' kids is going to have a table if you're from Dallas, you know, North Park Mall, the escalator when you go in through Kona Grill, and there's an escalator leading up to the movie theater. Kids' kids is going to have a table there, and I'll be there at some, I'll probably be there around 11, 11.30. 
probably will not be there. And then Alan's going to come take me to lunch. So I'll be there for a while. But mm. anyway, tomorrow is North Texas Giving Day, so I can't take a nap tomorrow. And then I have um, to get Alan's kids from school and my kid from school, and so I don't have a nap tomorrow either. A little food court action tomorrow, maybe? Yeah, I, I might want to go to Neiman's. That's pretty highbrow. No, the Mermaid Cafe is downstairs is in the highbrow. Someone told us on social media the other day, they said we needed to keep it more real. Why are we not keeping it real? They said we were being too highbrow. Highbrow with what? It was after we went to the... Uh, the Cowboys game? The Cowboys game. They said right. we need to keep it real like Kid used to. <laughs> okay. I'm just telling you, that's what somebody said. He was I, rich. He, were, he could have... He could have oh, I could the, have bought the Cowboys. He could have bought this. No, he could have bought a suite. No, I just met a man, and I was nice and social, and turns out I was early for a dinner, and so I was sitting at a bar having a dirty martini. I even like did an Instagram post where I took a picture of my day planner and martini. I was trying to look real busy, like I wasn't a loser at the bar by myself. And this man sat down, and I started talking to him. I very quickly, you know, I, I show the ring. I'm not hitting on him, but I like to talk to people. Don't I, babe? Yeah. I don't understand. I went for a. I'm starting back couch to chat. I'm going to get back to my story about the football game. Can we just start the podcast and then we can let do me this? just say this. I was starting back on the couch to 5K today, and I passed two people. It's just the two of us, you know, when, when I passed them separately, one and then another one. And I'm like trying to make eye contact the whole time they're coming toward me because I'm going to speak. I'm going to say hi. And they act like they don't see me or they're so caught up in what they're doing they can't even speak and say hello. That's so rude. Just say hello, nod, or something. That bothers me. So anyway, this guy sitting next to me at the bar, we just started talking, and it turns out he works in the same building as our main station in Dallas, and I, he's single, and I was like, I got girlfriends that are single. I'm going to set you up, blah, 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 and he says, is your husband a fan of the Cowboys? Yes, and so he invited us to the game. Guess what? He has a suite, mm -hmm. and that's what happened. Real nice man. And why is that living above our... Is that Why is that not keeping it real? We really were invited, and we really sat in a suite, and it was great. Tell you what, look at this Look at this podcast set. I mean, how much more real can it be? See our sign we made? Sitting here on this flea-bitten couch. Is this it turned old, around the right way? Oh, it's backwards. It's a homemade My sign. My cousin taught me how to do this. I mean, how much... I have to hit that button. How much realer can it get? And then I have to hit that one, and then this one, right? <gasps> there we go. Okay. Can mine's that? mine's all, all hold on. Okay, now it's the right way. Yeah, now it's the right way. So now you can see the sandwich and some lemon sign we made. Which one? Is it this middle one or this one? It's this one. It's the left one. This one? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we're all straight. Yeah, we're all straight. I thought it was left over from last time. But anyway. So we kept it real in the suite. I ate all the cashews. And then we brought home all the leftovers because they were just going to throw them away. I was like, don't you dare. And so Alan had leftover brisket tonight. It was good. That, food, that food at the stadium is really it's good. really good. And that's what uh, happens when you keep it real and you be polite to somebody. It ends up getting you tickets to a Cowboys game. So be polite. That's all I have to say. Is your ring, on, the, is your ring on your right hand or left hand? My left. Okay. I just want people to speak to me when they pass me in the in the park. That's so rude. I know. I'd rather somebody say. I'm like, hey, hey. nothing. And one woman was like, I being all, she was like me. listening to a book on tape. She had big headphones and stuff. And every time I passed her, suddenly her eyes were closed because she was so into the book. I'm like, whatever. I know you saw me. Are you ready to start? I got that out of my chest, out of my system. Yeah. Off my chest, out of my system. Let's start. I'm predicting. Failure? This is, no, this is either going to be the best podcast we've ever done, or this could fail I'm miserably. I'm so tired. This could fail miserably. We've got. I need to get my roots done. We got a man who's bemoaning about. I'm a man. I said we have a person who's bemoaning about everything. It's okay though, babe. Sometimes I'm bemoaning, and we just push on. Okay, we're gonna go. Let's do okay, it. wait a second. This. Wait, 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 wait. All right, let me see. It's been two weeks since we've done this, so I don't even know. Nope. Test one, two. Where's your microphone? In my lap. Okay, there we go. Now That's is recording. the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. Who gave that speech? Was that a general? 
The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy brown dog. No, no, the quick red fox jumped over the lazy brown dog. I think it was brown fox. I think it was red fox, was brown red dog. Fox. Red fox, brown dog. All right. You want to introduce it this time or am I doing no, it? No, no. We've, okay. we've got a system. We've got a winning formula here. <laughs> oh, and we passed half a million listens, so thank you very we'll, much. We'll, we'll get into all that. Get on the podcast? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, now he's going to write it down because I brought it up. He didn't think yeah, about I'm going to make me a little note there. All right, here we go. We're going to start now. You guys ready? <laughs> I know y'all are commenting and we can't read them while we're doing the show because it really throws everything off. I but can. we'll go back Alan, please don't. I can multitask. You don't pay attention to what I'm saying. When You're, You're just back. tired. Let's just fight through this. I'm Go. I'm tired. He's getting no loving tonight. Not that he would try, because I'm, I'm like, no good. All right, here we go. It's time for another edition of A Sandwich and Some Lovin' with my wonderful husband, Alan Evans. Hello, I'm Alan. And I'm Kelly Raspberry Evans, who, by the way is trying to go through the legal process of getting my name changed. What? There's, that's another thing that happened to me today, is trying to get my name changed legally. And I think that's why you're so tired. That's another thing, yeah. That I'm, process I'm very, very tired is extensive. Reported. It was crazy. The, the place I had to go, it was 30 miles away. McKinney. In McKinney, Texas. And I went to the building, which online told me to go to and when I got through and went to security they told me I was in the wrong building sent me to another building I got to building two they said no you were in the right building the first time and it's just a long drawn out story that nobody wants to hear but I'm still not done now I've got to get my fingerprints I've got to do a background check that's going to do me in babe I might just you might just be stuck married to a raspberry are you not as clean as you I, told me you were I might have some stuff <laughs> some skeletons I haven't oh shared. no I gotta do that I got, you know, and this is the thing about getting married. A man has to do nothing. He just oh, shows yeah. up on we the wedding we, day. We do nothing. He, yeah. he puts on a suit, we looks good. Mm -hmm. The woman has to diet her ass off mm -hmm. to fit in her wedding dress, which she had to have stretched. That would be me. And then, after the fact, he doesn't have to do anything. I have to go stand in line at the courthouse. I have to go to the post, uh, the, the, the driver's license, Social Security, I gotta change everything. You don't do anything. Boy, you jumped right into things here, <laughs> babe. Um, one thing—that's another thing I did today. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to lighten up the mood here since you're, you're you seem on edge. Mm. You seem testy tonight. You're very Tired testy. I'm sorry, I, I know, babe. I, it's okay. I love you very much. I love you so good, but you're just very you're very testy. So well, we've been married long enough. You need to see this side of me. <laughs> oh, I've it's seen, about oh, darn I've time. Seen it. I've seen it plenty of times. <laughs> no, um, one thing that's different that you may have noticed about this week's podcast is that uh, we have theme music at the beginning at the end of the podcast. Okay, that's a new change that you made, darling. Well, I yeah, I usually you're the executive. What do you call yourself? The producer. Oh, I'm the executive producer. Yeah. And you're, you're the creative director. I'm the talent. That's right. <laughs> but anyway, I asked Robert White Cheddar, our uh, editor and real producer. He's the real producer. He's the real producer. If he would change our theme music up a little bit because he's been playing Metallica, mm -hmm. which I love. I mean, that's my favorite band. I love Metallica. But I said, hey, why don't we uh, change it up a little bit and use Hank Williams' Hey, Good Looking. Why would, why would they do that? Because it's the melody of the I know something that you don't know ho 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 ho. It's oh. the melody of of that song. Well, so I don't think we've discussed this on the podcast. I think that was just on the radio. No, we we yeah. Because remember, you podcast? made me sing it. Did we do it on the podcast? Yeah. Or was that just no, on the we radio, did it on the podcast. Babe? You made me sing it. You're like sing that silly song. Oh, that's right. Sing. See, sometimes my life blurs and I can't remember what we say here. It's really a problem. What we say on the radio show, what we say on the podcast, and what we say in real life. I can't I can't keep it straight sometimes. Yeah, so that but, was a podcast. That's right. But here, this podcast, I, I do like it. And I saw somebody just make the comment, Alan loves the podcast. I do love the podcast. He does it's love a, it. It's a creative outlet for me. So I wrote a new verse to the I Know Something That You Don't Know song. Oh, am I going to hear it for the first time on the podcast? Are you going to sing it now? Do you want me to sing it? Oh, it's, oh, wait, okay, is this something Robert already has he's going to put on the show that I don't know about, or is this, no. going to do it now? No, I'm just going to do it now. He already, he's playing the Hank Williams oh, okay. singing, but okay. I, I wrote a new verse to my own song. That, okay. That I know something that you don't know. How this is a song. surprise, really. I've, I've not heard this. Okay, you want me to sing it? Well, you want to, obviously, and we hold your microphone. <laughs> no, I can, I can do it. Oh, you're not going to use your guitar? No, I'm just going to oh, sing okay. it. okay. I mean, I'm going to do this, how do you, what is it called? A, 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 acapella. Acapella. Dun, 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 dun. She's so creamy. <laughs> I'm her dreamy. 
Welcome to another podcast show. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's it. How's it going, Ben? Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. You know, a little peek behind the curtain. <laughs> the first time he called me creamy, I was very upset. <laughs> no. Because every woman knows creamy is code for that, fat. That, that's... <laughs> But that's the furthest I thing know, from the truth. It hurts my heart when you say that. I know, that. but that's what happened, right? That's what happened. But, but then what happened? I embraced the cream. <laughs> no, you're creamy. Your your skin is so fair. And you're but just... what did you say when I lost all that weight for the wedding? Oh, you were light cream. Oh, light cream. <laughs> and what do you say I am now? I say Tell you're it. just creamy. No. No, it babe. I'm full cream. That is not true. Oh, that is not true. Oh, we're going to get into... See, here's the thing hey, is now I embrace it. I don't even care. We're... He says, you're so creamy, baby. I say, thank you. Oh, I love you. You know, what are you going to do? We're going to get into the whole he said, she said thing. I don't know why later, you, you go lie on the podcast because everybody this, knows I tell the truth. Into this podcast. Even when it makes me look bad, okay. I tell the truth. Okay, so you started off by talking about how bushed and tired you are. Uh, and you, you were telling me this came from Mexico. So why? what no, happened? No, no, no. This didn't come. Okay, no? yes. I thought this was because you went to Mexico. Okay, I did go to Mexico, but that was fine. I mean, I... I if Alan couldn't go with me because uh, he had to work, and I took my best friend since fifth grade, Tommy Jean, who, bless her heart, she's had the roughest year. She lost her mother. She's the youngest of, of three girls, and her two sisters had been very sick, and um, her oldest sister's husband died this year. Then then her mother died, so her sister lost her husband and her mother within just a couple months. And the two sisters have been sick. They've been staying with Tommy Jean. She just had a year. So I said, come with me to Mexico. And so that was really great. And it was it was not too exhausting. It was it was a nice time too. But then when we came back uh, Sunday, we went to a late Cowboys game mm -hmm. and got home about midnight. And here's the thing. Alan goes straight to bed. I have to sit up and clean the house because the maid's coming the next day. What? That's what I I didn't get to bed till one o'clock. You didn't even know that because clean you the house. I was putting things away because when I was eight months pregnant and I couldn't bend over anymore, I, I hired somebody to come help me with my house. I couldn't move. And um, anyway, I really like that. So every two weeks I have a maid come and just kind of help me with, you know, toilets and stuff. And the thing is with maids, if you've ever had anybody with, in your house, if you don't put stuff away, they'll put it where they think it should go. And then you can't ever find it. So I sat up to one o'clock in the morning cleaning the house for the maid. And then I just haven't been able to catch up yet. It's been just a long week. What are you doing? Oh, that was... The He's reading comments. Screen was messed up. No, I wasn't reading comments. I was listening to you go on and on about how you were tired because okay. you pushed everything cover, to the walls. Cover for reading. Because you for pushed everything to the walls same. for the maid. Okay, whatever. That's what the cleaning entails, folks. Okay, here's a peek behind the curtain. No. The cleaning involves pushing boxes to the walls. That, no, that's not what I did. So the maid can uh, vacuum. No, I had to put away everything, like all your hair care products and tools that you leave on the bathroom counter... That you say you leave out every day because you need them every day. Okay. So that's why you're tired. Yes. And it wasn't here. because of Mexico. It was partially because of Mexico. But Mexico is great. I missed you, of course, Aww, desperately. I missed you. Love you so good. I love you so good. But I just feel like I'm just, my stuff is everywhere. It just causes you so much, it causes you so much angst. Well, and here's another thing. So then Alan on Sunday or whatever... Was it? I don't remember what day. My days are blurring. He cleans the kitchen. You would have thought that he had discovered the cure for something. Because I come home and he is huffing and puffing. Wasn't huffing. Walking, yes, wasn't you were. Puffing. And then making me feel bad because I hadn't, <laughs> you know, I hadn't done what you did. Wasn't you huffing. Were, he said, I can only, t you said, did you not say to me, and I'm not verbatim, I can only look at this for so long. And then I'm going to do something about it. Okay, there's a little truth to this. The way I get things done is I'll sit on my big fat butt for, weeks. for a week or two. Weeks. But then I will do the work of 10 men in a weekend. I do it in spurts. Will you you agree with that, right? Yeah, but in the meantime, I'm, I'm doing everything in between, but it's not good enough. <laughs> I did not ever say that. You should have seen... I wish I, I was video proud. Yeah, what, is you, it, what is it you say? I was the cock of the walk. I was the cock of the walk. Cleaning up the kitchen. Cock of the walk. And I can't wait till the next time you get to cock a walk around. I don't know what I'm talking about. What? <laughs> Just clean my kitchen. <laughs> mean. 
Okay, we're 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 scattered. We are here. very let's, scattered. Let's get into the content of the show. Okay, because you made notes and everything. I'm so proud of you. Oh, we always make notes. Okay, so while I'm in, okay, before I leave for Mexico, there's some stuff that still needs to be done around the house. We're still combining households. Alan still thinks everything he owns is precious and he won't get rid of it. <laughs> but that's beside the point. So he tells me before I'm leaving, Kelly, honey, sweetie, creamy, my sweet cream, my sweet full cream. There's going to be some big changes. When you come home, there's going to be big changes. I'm thinking, oh, he's going to finish everything in the house. What did he do? What was the big change, babe? Uh, well, I cleaned out the entire garage. You did. So we could get because two cars put in it. Because? I painted Emma Kelly's um, uh, chest, chest of drawers. drawers. Yes, that you salvaged from a dump. That I salvaged from a dump, and now it looks like a designer piece that you would have bought designer, somewhere. Designer, yes. I painted uh, Brooks' end table. You did. You finished that. Uh-huh. I um, put all those boxes, those big, heavy boxes full of books that were in the garage. I carried those up to the attic by mm -hmm. myself. So I did quite a bit. You did. So there were big changes at the Evans Estate. Okay, and why did you do all that stuff? <laughs> to soften the blow. <clears throat> there was no softening of any blow. I, 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 I bet a slingshot. And it was because... What? <laughs> What'd you do? I bought a new vehicle, and mm -hmm. this vehicle, is, it's called a slingshot. A slingshot? Yes. Anybody ever seen a slingshot before? Why don't you describe what a slingshot is? Well, I'll describe it for those of you in podcast land. For those of you who are on Facebook Live land, there is the owner's manual. But a slingshot is a motorcycle, but it has three wheels. So it has two wheels in the front and it has one wheel in the back. It looks like a Batmobile. It does look like a Batmobile. It's really cool. And it's a five-speed and it has we have four kids. And it has seats. We already have a two seater. So you can sit side by side. You have a weekend car, a little two seater Porsche. So yeah. Now and here's now a two seater slingshot. Here's the deal. Kelly has left a lot of the discussion about this slingshot out of this whole story. We had talked about this for a month and a half. Yes, we did, babe. We talked about it. You were even telling friends, oh, Alan's going to trade in his, his car and he's going to get the slingshot. And I, I had heard ladies, that more than one time. I think ladies understand tone, that you're leaving out tone. Because the same day we went for our date to make the signs for a sandwich and some lovin', the gentleman that owns this paint-your-own-sign place also rents out slingshots and Alan took us for a ride in it. That was maybe a month ago. I'll say six weeks for the sake of argument. And he's like, man, I really want one of these. I really want one of these. Okay, that's fine. So then he's talking about how he will trade in his sedan for a slingshot. So when I'm relaying my story to my friend, I say, yeah, Alan's going to trade in his sedan for the slingshot. <laughs> now, apparently, he took that to mean, go buy that slingshot, babe. <laughs> But what was my tone when I said, Al's going to trade in his, sling, his sedan for the slingshot? The tone I heard was uh, supportive. Go get the it was supportive. <laughs> it was, um, if that's what you want to do, you you know, you should do it. That that though, That's the tone that I heard. He knew I got a minivan, so he's like, well, I'm going to get something too. That is not true. Now, in all and he's more excited about the minivan than I am. I love am. that minivan. Now, in all seriousness. And he named it Constantine. He's trying to tell everybody the kids named it, but he named it. The kids named it Constantine. He strongly encouraged it. <laughs> in, in all seriousness, the, the slingshot was an addition to our fleet. We have a fleet now. But we got rid of a car. It's not like I added an expense. I got rid of a car right. and then added that one. So it's so a wash. It's a wash financially. But we have two two seater cars. Now with that's four the thing children. that's a little. Well, I don't think it's weird. I, you know, we have two, honestly, we have two two seaters. And so. honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. As long as we can afford it, you can have your toy. That's fine. Thank you, baby. I haven't even been to ride in it yet. No, you haven't. But not you the haven't. new. I mean, I did the one you borrowed, but I didn't. I haven't ridden in this yeah. one. Now, you know, this brings up another more serious subject, though, and that's... Oh, Lord, I don't want to get serious. We don't have to get too serious, but, you know, as we were talking about the slingshot, and we were, you know, I actually got it, and then, you know, after that and everything, I was thinking, is it different when you're in your second marriage when it comes to buying big things than it is, say, if you were married very young? Well, you have more money, hopefully, when you're older, we haven't ever, like, we haven't combined our money yet. And I don't 
honestly, I don't know how to go about doing that. I don't honestly don't know how to go about doing that. How are we going to do that? Well, you go to a bank and say, we want to combine our money. We're going to put all of our money into one account? Is that what's going well, to happen? I think, we, I think we have to talk about that, but yeah. It's... You want to talk about it on the podcast? Well, no, not really. <laughs> If you want to be honest, no, not really. I really but... don't know. I mean, I haven't really changed anything since, I mean, I went today to change my name legally, which was just so fun. I'm, I'm still not accomplished. But I don't know how we're, I don't know how this is going to work. I've been used to paying the bills my whole life. Are you going to start paying the bills? I don't know how to do this. Here's another thing. We've, we've already talked about this. But we haven't done anything. That's because you haven't got your name changed. So I have to get my name changed first? Your name has to be legally changed before we can go to a bank or I can go to a, a, a credit card company and say, add this person to my oh, account. Okay. Or I'll do that. you add me to, I mean, we, we have to work get through Get really all that. deep on a sandwich. Oh, moment. we're getting into the technicalities now. Well, that's part of marriage. Some people are saying, don't combine your money. Keep it separate. I know, but I don't understand. I don't know. Here, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not saying it's my money and it's your money. It's our money. I'm just concerned about keeping track of it at the bank. I don't know how to do that. Good Lord. Look at all the people saying combine it. Here's the deal. Don't combine it. Here's the deal. In Texas, when you're married, all the property is community property. So Kelly has property that she had before we got married. That's hers. I have property I had before I got married. That's mine. But anything that we combine after we get married, it's ours. It's not my money and your money. Right. It's our money. It's our stuff, right? Right. So and we're not getting divorced. I, I hey, you're gonna have to <laughs> you're gonna have to boot me out of here, kicking and screaming, man. I got yeah, you got a sweet gig look at this here. Gig I have in here. I got the mini man room. I've got, got I've got two a, toy cars. Two toy cars. I got a bathroom right here attached to the mini man room. Yeah. You give me a mini fridge and a place to dump my trash, and I got a little apartment up here. Yeah. You got it good, babe. <laughs> Meantime, I got to go back to the courthouse, stand in line. Oh, no. I'm sorry, babe. Oh, I was standing right behind a woman, and she's trying to serve. She's like, I got to fill out the paperwork, so I'm eavesdropping. I'm not eavesdropping. I'm sitting right there, because she's got to sue somebody for custody or, no, child support and serving papers. It's like, what a nightmare. Some people have such a nightmare they have to go through. So, I love you, honey. Thank you, baby. And you can get another toy if you want. <laughs> no. I, I, I don't. I, I'm not suing you for nothing. <laughs> Not yet. All right, not yet. <laughs> Babe. It's so hot in here. All right, let's go. What else are we talking about? Well, uh, let's talk about the Cowboys game. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we went to uh, see the Cowboys. I'm a big Cowboys fan. Love the Cowboys. I've always been a Cowboys fan. And we were invited by a friend that Kelly met. Um, he's got a suite at the Cowboys game. So we went to go see the Giants. It's a new friend. New friend. And this is what you get... I'm, I'm, again, I'm having one of those moments where I can't tell if I talked about this on the podcast or in real life or on the radio. But this is just a friendship that struck up because I spoke to the person sitting next to me, a perfect stranger. And by the end of the night, he said, does your husband like the Cowboys? Why, yes, he does. Would y'all like to go to the open night, opening night of the season? Yes, we would. And guess what? It turns out he had a sweet... It turns out he had a driver that picked us up. We were we were living large. That was nice. And you know why? Because I was polite. Yeah. Yeah, he's a nice guy. And he has a suite that he's holds... He's a very nice and generous man. Holds 25 people. And um, his driver actually dropped us in a lot that is literally 20 paces from the door at the stadium. We were so and, close, the car had to be searched for bombs. Yeah. And near this entrance where we walked in or where the players walk in, so we got there right at the end of the right at the end of when some, the players were walking in. So we got to see some of the players up really close, and I took a few pictures and all. But that was cool. That was cool. That was. And fun. they had cashews in the suite, not peanuts, cashews. And we might have eaten. I don't know. We ate a lot. Three or four or five bowls of cashews. They had truffle macaroni and cheese. They had popcorn. They had popcorn. They, they had, had ribs. They brisket, had pork, like they called them pork wings. I don't know why they did that. They're like pork ribs, right? They had, yes, they had fried chicken. They had these cookies for dessert that were awesome. And guess who took all the leftovers home? This girl right here and this boy right here. We took it home. We're like, they said if we don't take them, they were going to throw them away. We'd give them to us. They we had, eaten, we've been eating all that stuff for three days. They had tater salad. They had. They had green what beans. Else did they have? Green beans. Slaw. Oh, chips with uh, <gasps> potato chips. They had with... homemade 
ruffle potato chips. Oh, man. Pe- oh, they were so good. Anyway, the food and was great. And there was great. football, too. Food was great. <laughs> the football was great because the Cowboys won. They played the New York football giants, and they beat them 19-3, to I think, oh, was the final remember. score. There's a lot of hooting and hollering in the suite, and um, yeah, that we met a lot of people up there, and actually... The fellow we were, we, we were with, he was on a date that night, too, right? Yeah, it was a first date. So, um, you want to talk about that? Well, I don't know that we should get into his, his personal business, no. but I think we were talking about, well, what can we talk about on the podcast that was related to dating and sporting events? And I think one thing, I think one thing we, we talked about was, how many sporting events have you and I been to on dates? And we came up with four. Yeah, one of our very first dates was to a basketball game. We went to see the Mavericks. And at that game, I got chastised twice by security. Oh, not by me. No, by security. Remember? We were trying to get to our seats, and instead of stepping over people, I went behind them and stepped over the chair into the row, and the man yelled at me for stepping in the chair. That was one. I think chastised is a strong word. I think they were... um, Reprimanding? No, I think they were filming a live spot, and they just didn't want you going behind them. I'm talking about the first time when I was going to our seats, Um, when I stepped over the seat, and then the second time... We were they were we were up in the very very top and apparently there's a camera they had to catch the wide shot and I walked up to the man and he fussed at me really bad and then I went back over to Alan and this cute girl came up and he was nice to her and I went back up to him and I said I didn't appreciate the You're way talking he about spoke cute to me. girl I was with the cutest girl oh thanks baby but I went and told him I didn't appreciate the way he spoke to me he ended up apologizing I had the best looking date that night but I got chastised twice by security at and Oliver Union Arena. Yeah, thank you, honey. Or I mean, American Airlines Center. Thank you, or honey. Showing my age there, Reunion. So we went Arena. to one basketball game. We've been to two football games. No, we've been to three football games. Three. We've been to one college game. We oh went, yeah. Took Kelly on a. Well, I guess it was a date, but we went on a road trip to Lubbock to see Texas Tech play West Virginia last year. It was the homecoming game in Lubbock. Texas Tech saw. And I tell you what, West Virginia, so that coach, he got in his big steamroller and they just rolled over the Red Raiders yeah. that day. We had fun at the tailgate. The tailgate was a blast. I'd never really done a, a big tailgate like that before and I'd never had a beer before. I had my first beer that day. That was fun. And then somehow we came across some Cowboys tickets and we took my mother and father and you and your me. Your boss. Your boss. Oh yeah, that's right. I got those through work, and that was fun. Mm-hmm. And then this was our fourth time together at a sporting event at mm-hmm. the uh, at the suites. Am I a good date to sporting events? You know, Kelly, I, I don't know. I think she has this reputation for not liking sports or whatever. She, she'll get into it. She was watching the Cowboys. She was really into the game. She was cheering. When we went to go see Texas Tech, she was cheering hard for the Red Raiders. And when they weren't doing well, she was, you know, she was kind of... Upset like I was. So she gets into the games. I don't know why people think you don't like well, sports. Well, it's like, I'll, if I'm there, I'm going to pay attention. But I don't like go out of my way to catch a game. Like if it's on TV, I don't stop everything to watch it. But I'll watch it with you. Yeah. I, and I like to get into it if I'm watching it. I tell you what, you know, well, I'm here in the mini man room watching football. I'd love it if you came in here and watched a game with me. But it's not, I know for you, it's not quite as fun watching on TV than it is being at no, a game. That's fine. I'll watch it with you. But here, here's why I thought we'd bring this up. Okay. What, what do you think? What's your take on a guy asking a, um, you know, a woman to a sporting event as like a first date? Well, I mean, it's fine. It depends on the man's level of intensity because if a man's like the type that paint, paints his face and all that, that might be a little bit much. Um, with all the, the, some men are so intense about watching a game. So, if you're an avid Cowboys fan who likes to yell and scream and, you know, taunt the other team's fans, I wouldn't suggest that as a first date. I, mean, I wouldn't lead with that. What if on our first date when we went to that Mavericks game, well, that was like our third date. What if on that date, in all seriousness, I showed up and I had like a green and blue afro wig. I wouldn't have liked and that. And a big Mavericks foam finger. Yeah, I wouldn't have liked that. That said Mavs fan. I wouldn't Ma- have liked that. MF, what is it? MFFL, Mavs fan for Mavs life. Fan. I wouldn't have liked that, I'll be honest. You would have been out on that? I would have been out on that. I might not have been out on you, but I wouldn't, I would have felt awkward probably and uncomfortable. You know, it's just too soon in the relationship. And that's not you. But if that's truly your personality, I better get used to it or I'm not sticking around, right? Yeah. But I just don't think I'd lead with that. I think sporting events are tough. It's kind of like going to a movie on your first date. Yeah. Because you... You You can't talk. Your attention is diverted Mm -hmm. to 
the event and it's not on the person you're trying to get to know. Right, but if that's truly part of your passion and like you are that avenue of a fan, I would introduce her to that side of your personality, but not on a first date. Yeah. Not on a second or third. I'd wait maybe a while. Yeah. Because that could be off-putting. Yeah. I think that's a good tip. Thanks, babe. That's why you're the love <laughs> expert, babe. Oh, I was doing love letters to Kelly. I didn't even know it. You were. You were. Um, okay, so a lot of people are asking about this high five. All right. So let's get it. At the football game. Let's, uh, let's what do they say in, in Bible study? Let's, uh, let's, let's dig deeper into this. Let's, uh, let's uh, peel away the onion. Okay, because basically bit. you're calling me a liar. No, not calling you a liar at all. My husband refuses to high five me, and he does not like it when I call him dude, because that makes me one of the guys. So when I first found this out, because it was a shock to me, I would keep trying to catch him high fiving mm -hmm. me. I would purposely be like, purposely, high five. purposely trying to trick me and deceive me. I would try to me. trick him yes. into slipping up and high fiving mm -hmm. me. And then what happened? So there's a history. Of Kelly trying to deceive and trick me. Oh my gosh. So then eventually she I got just tired of it. I did, but then I got tired of it. So when's the last time I tried to catch you in a high five? Be honest. Well, the Cowboys game. Well, no, I didn't try to catch you. Well, well I tried yeah, you the did. last time I tried to trick you into high fiving me, it's been months. Okay, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. And uh, if you would be so kind, if you, you would, tell the whole if, story. if you would let me get through this story without interruption, oh, because I don't. without inter I without, that. without interruption, right, if you let right. me get through this story without interruption. <laughs> okay. So let me give you a little background on this high five thing. When I was, I went to school at Texas Tech, and I lived in a co-ed dorm. Okay, and I've told Kelly this story before. I lived in a co-ed dorm, and I had about fifty guys on my floor. The doors were always open. It was a community bathroom. Everybody basically had 50 guys basically living together, all right? Well, some of these guys had girlfriends. Some of them had female acquaintances. Well, they would come over to our side of the dorm at all hours of the night and hang out, right? So they were over there all the time in their ball caps and T-shirts, and they're over there drinking beer and over there playing Nintendo. And Do you think it was sexy? Absolutely not. So these women, these girls at the time, were just kind of like they were part of the part of the crew, part of the part of the guy club, and they were in there high fiving after a big Nintendo play and mm -hmm. drinking beer and burping and belching really? and oh, sure they were. Mm -hmm. So I've always had this. I, it, it's probably me. It's probably this there's is some guys that might like that. There's some guys that may like that, and hey. That's fine, you know? And that, not you. Not this guy. Am I interrupting you? I'm, I'm contributing. You're contributing, I'm to the con you're contributing to the conversation. So I've always had this in the back of my mind that if I high-five a woman, it's like she's my bro. Mm -hmm. She's my buddy. She's my Nintendo buddy. And we're going to play video games together. You don't and, like that. And drink beer together. You don't and like that. We're going to... Maybe even pass gas together. Oh, no, right. Don't do that. So it could be the furthest from a romantic gesture in my mind, in my mind, to high five a woman. Okay. Well, to high five my spouse, not a woman, because I've probably high five women. You don't high five your sister? No, I don't. Can't re re recall high fiving my sister or my mother. So. Are you? Never mind. That's the setup. Now, fast forward to this Cowboys game. So we're sitting there in the suite. Kelly is to my right. And we're sitting there. There are people all around us, everywhere. The, the suite is packed full of people having a great time. This was about the second or third quarter. People are having a little, you know, a little cocktail, a little something, something. The, you know, the energy is up in the suite. Cowboys make a big play. And I think the play that happened was Dak Prescott threw it to Terrence Williams, and it was a long pass play. Terrence Williams went for, I don't know, 30 yards or something. I was so excited because I saw Terrence Williams earlier walk into the stadium, and I was standing about like really one foot from him, and he made this big play. So I got up, and I'm like, yeah! And I got up, and I'm standing up, and Kelly remained seated, and everyone's high-fiving. I think I gave somebody to my left a high-five. I looked to my right. And Kelly is below me because I'm standing up and she's sitting down. And I put my hand out, down, in a down position, and she high-fived my hand. 
when my hand okay, was in a down position. True. That is exactly you're what happened. A false no, in fact, I knew what was happening you were because a you false said memory. high five. You knew I knew what was happening, so I grabbed your hand like to hold it because I was so horrified that you had high five and me. mortified. You high five that we me. Had your high-fived. hand was up, and I went yes. And I and then you realize what happened. Then you grab my hand. You're having a false memory. I'm not. This lying. is this you is you turn I'm not and saying hold out your hand. I'm you're not standing you're above me, and I you you looked at me. You looked down. And you went yeah, and I went yeah. <laughs> and that's when you realized your egregious error. What you just said and the motion you just made was up. Yes, because you standing, were above me. I was and yes. I am below you. So you. But you're high-fiving me in a, your hand is up. It wasn't like down by your side. You were coming down from above in a high, look, high-five. My head is above you. You, I reached up and so, high-fived you. here's the bottom line. We could probably go back and forth on this for, you know, an hour, which would really beat y'all it down. It would be awful. It would be awful. So. I love that you, you would prefer your wife look like a liar <laughs> and just admit that you high five me not, in a moment. No, you're just a I'm not saying you lie. I'm saying that our palms touched in a high five. My motion. intent was not to high five you. That's not true. That that is true. I high five. My intent. Was, no, it wasn't. You never intended to high five me, but you're horrified that you did. You did. So that that is my side of the pancake. That is my side of the story. You can And who always tells the truth no matter how bad it makes her look. That would be me. Our our And I am telling you the truth. Uh, so hashtag, y'all can hashtag fake news. Our wonderful oh. <laughs> Our wonderful listeners can decide for yourself. They can decide for themselves. I was excited. I high five somebody on my left. I looked down and I was so in the moment. I put my palm out. Kelly quickly high fived me, and I knew what was happening. So I grabbed her hand to like hold her hand because I knew this was going to happen. As soon as he did, I, I was knew like, this was going to happen. As soon as he did, I was like, oh, "You high fived me!" And, and then he, he's like, "He's like, oh my god, oh my god!" And I said, "I've got to put this on social media." And he's sitting there while I'm. You didn't protest because you knew it had happened. And then as I'm posting it on social media, you're like, I can't believe you're posting You have that. never seen that. somebody go to the Twitter faster than that than one A. Kelly Raspberry Evans that moment <laughs> when our not palms touched. Yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, not legally yet. So anyway, that's that's the deal. Right. I mean I don't y'all know. Y'all can y'all can decide. I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna lose. I wish there was a way we could do a, a poll right now to see who they think is telling the truth. Because I truly believe they would side with me because they oh really yes like uh like they did on your uh, flatware that was a matter of taste that's not a matter of truthfulness and i think that most people got i like my flatware it's better than yours no it's not your flatware we've had to throw away how many spoons because they had ended up down the he was eating on spoons that had been in the garbage disposal so you put them in your mouth they rip your lip open had to throw away a few of those. Have you ever oh, heard? You were such a bachelor before I married you. Really. <laughs> you were such a bachelor. That's the truth. He had he had a spot. We had an argument over spices that he had had since 2007. I'm not lying. Am I lying about the date? No. There was, it was a big jar of spice and about an, a, a minuscule amount was missing. And he wouldn't let me throw it away. I'm like. Besides the fact that it expired in 2007, you haven't used it in 10 years. So why are you wanting to hang on to it? Honey, you're killing me. Oh, sorry, babe. Sorry. Sorry. It's, my big, it's, yeah, my, big man, big it's my big arm. man arm. All right. All right. Let's move let's, on from that. Yeah, let's move on. I, I win. <laughs> well, that's fine. But I know I didn't high five you. But... <laughs> babe, what's that? You know, just when I think that a podcast... One of our podcasts is the most wheels off podcast we've ever done. We're going to do another one. We do another one, and then I'm like, "Your wife is so tired." Wow, this is the most wheels off podcast I'm we've sorry. ever done. I'm sorry, that's I'm okay. hot and I'm tired. Okay, well, we we won't we won't drag this one out for an hour <laughs> or anything. Maybe forty five minutes. What time minutes. is it? <laughs> How long have we been talking? Good grief.
Oh, okay. We got to talk a little bit more. Do you, do you think if, just a hypothetical, do you think if you were just like, you know what, I'm out on this, see ya. The podcast? No, no, just tonight. Oh, tonight? If you're like, I'm too tired and I'm just standing here by myself, how quickly would that go to about 20 people? Listening? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why people want to hear us fight, but I guess they do. We're not, we're not really fighting. fighting. We're There's not no fighting, fighting we're at not all. Fighting. We're just tired. <laughs> She's tired. <laughs> I'm tired. And you're usually one that's bushed. All right. What what else is on your sweet agenda, honey, that you went to so much trouble to make for us to talk about oh, tonight? One thing I wanted to uh, remind people, and I, I hope everyone's got a chance to see it because we're so proud of it, is our wedding video. Okay. Yeah. So we finally got our wedding video back. I know we got married July 1st. It's been a while now, but... If you haven't had a chance to take a peek at the uh, highlights video. So good. Yeah, please do. It's really, really great. Um, it's at kellynallen.com slash video. And it's about nine minutes. So, you know, it'll take you a little time to get through. But the real video, the one we have on Blue, Blu-ray is um, an, hour and a half. an hour and a half. And we watched it and it was so long. much fun to watch. It was long. <laughs> it was long. But really fun to watch. But if you get a chance, go to kellynallen.com slash video and, and check it out and um, let us know what you think. But... It yeah, was so fun watching there. that. Our engagement photos, the wedding photos are on there. There's a lot of stuff on there. We need to start adding more stuff on there, too. We're going to start doing more stuff on there. I told Alan, we need to like start doing like home, like some of the home improvement projects you've been doing around the house. We need to post those things on there, too, you know? Yeah. yeah. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I'm going to post some pictures of the, uh, and the we're getting any drawers that oh. are finished. Oh, and we're getting a new dining room table. I'm so excited. I can't wait till that comes in. We're going to post lots of pictures of that, too. I'm so excited about our dining room table. Yeah. We won't have cardboard Big boxes changes. in that room. Big, Big change, changes. Big change is coming at Evans Estate, form, right. formerly known as Raspberry Manor. Um, well, you want to do a little picking and grinning? Okay, here's a little peek behind the curtain. Don't tell them what song it is. Okay. I don't know this song very well. I've heard it. It's like one of those songs that you hear and you know the kind of... The, the, the main line from it, but you don't know it, know it. So Alan wants to, to, um, me to sing it tonight. So we've rehearsed it twice and it's, and then right before we come on the podcast, he's changed it. So I don't know how to make it easier go. to, to make, make it, it easier. easier for me. But here's the, the problem with that is I haven't rehearsed it this way, but my, my sweet husband loves to hear me sing. And so how can I not, right? Thank you, baby. I See, I'm doing this for you. You are. and But you're doing it for the listeners. Yeah. They, they love this. They love well, to hear you I, sing. Well, I love you and I appreciate that. I know I'm not the best singer in the world. I can carry a tune okay. I know that. I'm not going to be auditioning for American Idol. That's not in my future. But I can carry a tune okay. So I thank you for thinking I sing good. Okay, we don't need a bunch of disclaimers. But I need a disclaimer because I'm afraid I'm going to botch this one so bad. Well, I'm gonna. I'll do a disclaimer. This is not an easy song to sing. It's not. You spent before we came on the podcast. <laughs> I was giving you confidence then. You were telling no, me how but easy I'm doing this. A, is. I'm doing a disclaimer. There, there, <laughs> there have been two remakes that I know of of this song. One was done by Fergie, and one was done by yeah, uh, Cheryl, Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow. And so he sits there. Fergie and Cheryl Crow can do it. That was his big encouraging <laughs> I, speech. I. When I was like, I, I can't think, do it, I can't do it. I don't think I've ever talked like that, and I don't think I've ever done my head like that either. I don't and you high five me. No, I, I didn't. All right, let's get through this song. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna end so hot. on a rocking note here. <laughs> Are we really gonna end on this? Well, yeah, probably. We we have a few things right. to talk about after this, but let's. Okay, we're not ending ending. Well, I don't know, y'all. I'm telling you right now, this could be really okay. It's going to be fun. Or a colossal failure. It's going to be fun. We're going to find out together. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Lord. Get, and if, you, if you have seen our wedding video, this is the song we walked out. This was our exit music. That's a big hint there. Yeah. And we already... Oh, okay. We already performed the song. I think the first song we did was As Long As You Love Me by the Backstreet Boys because that was the song I walked into, which was so super cool. Beats the Wedding March, right? So this is a song that played as we left the ceremony. Y'all, I know when you're hearing this in podcast land, it's already too late to pray for me. <laughs> but pray for me now anyway. Babe, you're going to do fine. Just well, you're gonna remember have to, how we rehearsed it two times. And then do it different because you changed it. Oh, Lord, please help me. I Honestly, I really... I'll I'm, help you through it a little bit. Okay. Oh, I don't think... Well, you can't. this is so wheels off. <laughs> Jeez. It's okay. Just just go. 
It's fine. Okay, you ready? No. Okay, remember we just do a little bit, a little, uh... No. Oh. Professionals. No, this we're not. Called, babe, don't put yourself down. This is called busking. We're busking. <sighs> Busking's when people give you money. Give us money. We ain't got paid. <laughs> All right, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> babe, you did good. Oh, so hi. Oh, Thank you, baby. I love so, you, and I'm, you I'm, so. I'm glad you're happy. That's a hard song to sing, but... It is. It's high. But you did a great job. Thank you. All right, babe. Well, we're going to finish this one up a little early tonight. Kelly's got to get to bed and, and do her real job. Tomorrow morning. Um, let's just mention, like we always do. Yeah, what's coming up? Well, we have some good things cooking. Um, we do. We have some special guests lined up. We have to just get them scheduled and in, in into our our home. <laughs> yeah, we want to have uh, JC and Kenzie over. Yeah, and do a cookout and um, you and know podcast and, while and, and a podcast while we're here. So we're not sure you know what we talk about or if we play a game with them. And but, we, you know, y'all probably sing because you and JC like to play the guitar together. Yeah, we we might do something like that. So that's coming up. Uh, we've talked about some some contests and not really like promotions, but no. some some contests we could do because we want to start you, giving stuff away. We want to start giving stuff away because you guys <laughs> have been really loyal and we're really and we got to get this stuff out of the house. Yeah, we got to get this stuff out of the house. <laughs> and and we're, we've been so happy with the number of people who have actually listened. We've we've had half a million people listen to our podcast since June the first. So a lot of people out there have listened, and we we appreciate that. So we want to start trying to give something back. I'm not sure what that is yet, but we're going to figure that out. So more to come on that. And then um, we're still trying to figure out that happy hour. I know. I I'll, I'll get back. We went to Mexico last week, so I got I kind of got really off. I think we were focused on that, and then I kind of got distracted. So I'll work on the happy hour. I would like to get that done before the end of October. That's my goal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna work on that. And another thing we've talked about is having Bossman George. Right, your man Boss, crush. Bossman George. On. There is a true love affair going on between I like Alan George. and George. George is a good guy. Well, you know what? That means job security for me. George, I've told you this. George is one of those guys where 
whenever I'm around him, I'm just I just smile. You're just a happier person. He, he, he's just he's just one, he's funny. He's funny. He's and engaging. He loves you. I don't know why he loves me, but he's funny. He's engaging. And he's just one of those guys you want to be around. And so, you and I are a package deal, babe. That's right. So if, we, if I go, Alan goes, George. So we want to have George on the podcast. So that's going on. And then don't forget, we have a Facebook page for A Sandwich and Some Eleven. And we have an Instagram account for A Sandwich and Some Eleven. So go out there and, and follow those. And we're going to start being more active on that, too. We're yeah. going to start really focusing on that. And we don't just copy and paste what we post on our own social. No. We, we try to make it a little different. Unique content, they call that, babe. Yes. Unique curated content. So... There you have it, babe. That's 45 minutes of a sandwich and some loving. Are you, are you okay? I, I toughed it out, honey. I was really tired. You carried tonight, and I appreciate you for doing that. You know, you're kind of like, this is a sports reference that may fall flat with a lot of people, but when Michael Jordan had the flu in the finals against the uh, Utah Jazz, he just fought through it, and they won that game. Yeah. So you're saying you're Michael Jordan? No, I'm, saying, I'm, Michael I'm Jordan. saying you're Michael Jordan. Oh, thank you, baby. You're the Michael Jordan of a sandwich and some loving. Thank you. I, I know I could have done better, and I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Well... But thank you for going to all the trouble of making the outline and everything. It was very lovely. I, I love you so good, even though uh, we, we bickered a lot on this one. We, Did we, we bicker? We argued a little bit. Um, we had opposing viewpoints and positions. Yeah. We keep it real on a sandwich. Oh, <laughs> we keep it so real. Uh, you know, I've been... Well, go go ahead, man. You know, you've been what? What did you call me earlier tonight? I said I've been called ignorant and something else all in one day. What was it, the word you used to describe me? I didn't I call you ignorant. No, you didn't. Somebody called me ignorant today. What me? But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes there's nothing wrong with being ignorant. All ignorant means is, is you haven't learned that fact yet. If you've learned a fact and you still continue to hold the false belief, that makes you like bad ignorant. But like you can be ignorant to a fact. I didn't know Baja California was in Mexico. Oh, you're still hung up on that, huh? That, and then somebody said I was ignorant, but they said it in a mean way. But I thought Baja was a city in California. I've never been to Baja California. And so when JC said... Baja California was in Mexico. That didn't compute in my brain until, because he wasn't explaining to me the city is na or the state is named Baja California. Did you know that? Did anybody know that? Did you know that? I didn't know that. See, okay, thank you. No, I you. didn't know that. And so that made made us ignorant of that fact. But when people use the term ignorant, they say it with with a malice or well, like you're stupid. But I didn't. I'd never heard that before. Well, it's not a very positive word, but ignorant. No, but a lot of people are ignorant. And I guess I'm one of them, because I didn't know that. Babe, I love you. We love you. You love my ignorance? You're a great singer. <laughs> we, we, you, we don't need a who's who in geography here on a sandwich and Geography's my weakest you know, subject. That was, and uh, that was actually your husband in high school. There's a factoid you didn't know about him, is he was a who's who in geography. Really? I didn't know where Baja, California was. I didn't either. It's in Mexico, apparently, babe. You know, if you really want to make me look bad, honestly, if you're ever like wanting to make me look bad, is Put me like in a geography quiz. Well, that's what I'm I am the worst. That's what I strive to do every day. Babe. I and don't know geography. Make you, make you look bad. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying as a general in the universal royal word you. Yeah. I look like an idiot. I don't, I don't, I look ignorant because I don't know geography. All right. The next time we do a podcast. You're going to quiz me on state? No. <laughs> we're going to be talking about how great Kelly Raspberry is no, and all the I'm things she can for do that. good. I'm not asking for that. Because you sung the heck out of Sweet Child of Mine. That is not an easy song to sing, but you rocked it. I can't wait to play that one back. Oh, thank you, baby. All right, baby. Well, I love you. And I love you. In the words of the... I love everybody for listening. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for putting up with me this, this podcast. And in the words of the great Keanu Reeves, life is good when you have a good sandwich. Bye. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Turn this off. Well, 48 minutes. It's not it wasn't one of our longer podcasts. Let me turn that off so we can save the battery. Yeah, it's getting low on the battery. I'll get him to change it tomorrow. All right. What y'all think? The air finally turned on. <sighs> the long discussion of it when I wanted to hear the rest of the story. I don't even remember the rest of the story. Yeah, some people like got mad at me for thinking Baja California was in California. Why wouldn't I think Baja California was in California? It's like saying Dallas, Texas. I, Baja, California. I didn't know that either, babe. I, I, had, I had no idea. All right, so we're here now. We can actually read your comments. So if anybody wants to say anything or ask us anything, now's the time to ask because we're about to wrap it up. I've got to get to bed. Alan's sons both have the flu. We, His son Cole had it when we had him last weekend. So we were crossing our fingers that we didn't get it, and we didn't get it. We're, out of it. we're past the incubation no, period, I, I think. So. Yeah. 
I hope this isn't why I'm feeling like this. I'm just tired. But anyway, so two sons down with the flu this week, and it's just been a long week. And I've got, you know, y'all don't want to hear that. Uh, was it a high five or not? Sarah, it was a high five. It was a high five. I don't know why. I don't know why you won't just admit it. My daughter's in the other room. She's watching TV so we could do the podcast, and his other children are with their mother. Hey, Longview, can you post the Facebook page and the Instagram? Yeah, the Facebook page, you can find it. Um, it's just a sandwich and some lovin' with a, no G on the end of lovin'. You should be able to find it. Everything's under a sandwich and some lovin'. But you just go up into your search bar. Yeah, your search and bar. Search I don't know that we can actually. I mean, if you found my Facebook page, you can probably find. I I've, I've probably linked to it. It's the only one that'll pop. What's up the gift one? Big Al got y'all for the wedding that he was so excited about? Alan, I, for about a year, I've been trying to get Alan um, Pappy Van Winkle, and it's really really hard to come by. And as a bar owner, I'd asked him. I think it was Christmas of last year if he could help me get a bottle of Pappy. And he got a bottle of Rip Van Winkle, which is one, because it's just, that's just as hard to get to, and it's expensive, but he got Rip Van Winkle for Alan. Did you drink that tonight? Uh -huh. That's been his, like, every week when we do the podcast, he has a little nip. It's just like, a, I have a tiny, like, tiny a nip. nip. Look at that. It's, like, tiny. Do I love being a step parent? Yeah. It's been great. I mean, I've, it's so hard, because every time I say stepchildren, I get chastised for that, that it's insulting to call them stepchildren that you're supposed to call them bonus children so I've been really kind of I don't know but yeah it's been great they've been they're so easy I, I guess it also helps that I'm not getting them all as teenagers they're all pretty young still but they all get along really great where is our favorite place to go out to eat for steak it's Albernay's for Mexican I don't know we kind of go everywhere I've had a steak at Al's I had his prime rib I had his prime rib is that not considered steak? Mm. Yeah, I guess it is. Um, where do we go mostly? We're creatures of habit. We love this new, if you're in the Dallas, Fort, well, in the North Dallas, Plano, Frisco area, we love Earl's. Earl's yeah, Kitchen and good. Legacy West is great. Oh, somebody just went away and it said, wish somebody a happy birthday, please, and I missed it. Could you prayers for Montana Wild? Oh, it's going so fast. You have five and your husband has four. Nine children, wow. Second marriages are easier. I don't know. They say, you know, I, I'm not cursing us or anything. They say second marriages are just as likely to fail as first. Have you read that statistic? I thought they were more but likely. I would, yeah, more likely. But I feel like we learned so much. And instead of a redheaded stepchild, it's redheaded stepmom. Yeah. Yeah, Steph. People were like, when I said my stepson or something, they're like, it's, I don't step on my stepson. I call him my bonus son. I'm like, mm. okay. I was like, I'm not trying to be offensive. People mm. get mad over everything. They're just looking for an excuse to be mad. Hey, Brandy. Wish Mo a happy a birthday. Happy birthday, Mo. Hello, Louisiana. Do the exes get along with the whole blended family thing? Yeah, everybody's been, they haven't had any really issues. Being a step parent is hard, especially for the mom. <laughs> You show up in PJs to do the show tomorrow and support a big owl. Downgrade and work attire. Yeah. I could do... Well, I'm doing it in my workout shirt. I was supposed to go to the gym today and I didn't get a chance because Emma Kelly had her first basketball lesson today. And um, it's a skills training camp. And the coach is a woman and she's six foot four and she did not go easy on them. And there were five girls in this group and two of the girls cried. My daughter came close, but she sucked it up. And then when she got out, she, she got in the car and she wasn't crying. She was talking about how hard it was. And I was so proud of her for not crying because I would have cried. Thank you, Stacy. Do you sing Sweet Child of Mine tonight? Yeah, Christy, you didn't miss anything. It wasn't anything to write home about. But you can listen to it on the podcast tomorrow. It'll be out at 10 a.m. Um, Ghetto D's on. It'll be out tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central, approximately that. Jennifer, Nanny Laura is in Australia right now. She's taking a one-year sabbatical. She's just kind of um, touring the country, and now she toured the United States. Her and her mom just got in a car. Sophia and Emmanuel go to bed. No. Um, so now she's in Australia with her mother. Where did I go for med spa stuff? The only thing I get, which I need, I haven't been in a long time, is Botox. And um, I go to Gala at American Institute for Plastic Surgery. She's right off the tollway in Plano Parkway, and she's awesome. She has a very light touch. 
but because she's a light touch, sometimes you know you have to go back more frequently. But I'd rather do that than have the look like that. But med spa, what else? What other treatments can I get? I need to get Alan and I are talking about facelifts because that's what you do in Dallas. I need to do something about this. I'm starting to show age in my neck, and I don't like that. Can Alan say hi? Oh, it went away. If we missed your say something, please do it Wish again. Falls. Bud Brown. Is there a difference between what we can see and interact with on the Sandwich and Some Lovin' page and the Kelly Raspberry page? <sighs> yeah, I guess. I yeah, because I, most, I mostly page, does, post our page. Yeah, he mostly does a Sandwich and Some Lovin'. But you have access to do it too, babe. Yeah. I need to do better. I've got to find a balance of everything I'm trying to... I haven't found a balance yet. I'm working on that. My eyebrows are on fleek. Thank you. I don't really, I went and had them professionally groomed years ago. And then I just kind of stay in the lines is what I try to do. Have I had dermabrasion? I have. I have, but I haven't done it in a long time. It's, um, it has to be a special person that does mine because I'm redhead and fair skin. So one time I got it done and it was, it's like I had a sunburn. She had to put pure oxygen on me tour and come to San Antonio. Tour? They want to go on tour, babe. No, Jill, Elena's not coming back. She's no longer with our show. Cindy, our kids just call us by our first names. You know, my daughter calls him Alan and his children call me Kelly. And I don't know, you know. Play more than words. They want to hear more than words. I'm going to turn on the ceiling fan real quick, y'all. Give me one second. So hot. Alan is in marketing. He is the director of marketing for a luxury fabric and furniture company. Could Alan be any cooler, bud? Yes, he could. I mean, in the big pictures, could we all be a bit cooler? I'd want to know if you could be any cooler. You're supposed to say, no, there's no way you can be any cooler. <laughs> Elena did work with us. It was our radio show, but she's no longer with our show. Alan, are you self-taught on guitar? Yes. He's self-taught. He yes. goes online and looks up stuff. I do need to sleep, Margot, but... I want to, I like hanging out with y'all. What's the sign behind us? We went to this, what was the place called, honey? Wine and, um. What, uh, Texas Wine and Wood. Texas Wine and Wood. Here, can you see this? Let me move this. Let me, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's falling apart. Um, there. Can you, I'm trying to do this without dropping the phone. It's on a pedestal. So I made that. And then Alan made one that said something about the Evans family established in 2017. My eyelashes went in my eye. Oh, I do get my eyelashes done. That's not a med spa thing. I go to Ray at Ola Lash. They pronounce it Ola Lash, but I spell it O-O-H. Ray at Ola Lash. She does them, I get them about every two weeks. I just got them done today. And that's the cool thing, because I'm not wearing any makeup, but it, I mean, I'm wearing no makeup. And it makes me look like at least I have on something. Something about getting your eyelashes done. Hey, which top balls? Hot intern Jordan is no longer with us. I don't know where Jordan ended up. He's not interning with us anymore. Alan, have you ever used a stone guitar pick? No. How does Alan feel about fame? <laughs> fame? You talking about? I'm not. Oh. You talking about fame? We got a couple of dozen people here listening to the to the. I know, of right? Life. I prefer red wine over white, but I get I get headaches. Kelly, what time do you have to wake up to get to work for six? Girl, you need to go to bed. Yeah. I've been really oversleeping lately. I try to go to bed by 10. I need to go to bed earlier. I'm happy for you to listen to you for 15 plus years and you've never seen or heard you any happier. Thank you. Tonight I was a little grumpy, let's be honest. Yes, Alan does it like Megan. Hey, Chattanooga. Recommend a guitar for a starter for a six and eight year old. Do you have a recommendation for a starter guitar for children? Yeah, a Yamaha or a Fender, like a three quarter size. You get one of those at Guitar Center for less than 100 bucks. Be a good Christmas present. Hey, it's so much. I'm loving. Are you guys on still over there, baby? 
And there's 113 people. Embrace the cream, huh? I would think he meant it as a skin tone. So people are watching on a sandwich and some loving too. Hello. Hi San Antonio. Hi Michael James. Hi Kelly Faree. Hi Katie Autry. Hi Misty Buckingham. Hi Kristen Busby Acrete. <laughs> oh, thank you, Abe Mel. Hello, Savannah, Georgia, Ray, Lockamy. Hugs from Manila. Manila? Philippines. Where's that? Somebody over there said hugs from Manila. Really? That's yeah. Cool. Alan's Filipino. Favorite sports car, Porsche. I moved to Boston and I still miss you. Are you in Boston, David? That's fun. I don't have any brothers. I have one sister. No brothers. Birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Tiesa. Tiesa? Tisa? Have I started shopping for Christmas yet? Actually, this week I made my Christmas list of all the people I have to buy for. So at least I've started the, the process. And I do have a couple of things I know I'm going to get, but I haven't started shopping yet. Tracy wants us to come to her next Cowboys party. Where is next it? Next Cowboys party. Favorite thing about married life? I just told Alan last night. I said, I love having somebody that I can grow old with so I don't have to be alone. Oh, you did say that. I did. I love having somebody. and he lo He's so good to me. He puts up with my butt. I'm a butt sometimes, and he puts up with that. I love you. I love you, too. Kelly, I tweeted you mamas. Love you. I don't know what that means. Favorite coworker? Mine or Alan's? <laughs> it depends. Every day it's different because every day somebody gets on my nerves. They stopped commenting on the sandwiches and love and honey because they just they just feel like we're neglecting them over there and I'm so sorry. Alan, when are we drinking together? That's Troy Griffin. Happy birthday, Katrina. Have you ever been in Rosacea? Yeah, my nose gets red whenever I'm drinking, so my nose is a little red, and my cheeks are a little red, so that's probably another reason why I don't have makeup on. Should I get treated for that? I kind of like the, I don't like my red nose, but I like the way it makes it look happy color on my cheeks. We want to see your living room wall that Alan did. Oh, okay. I gotta take you out there, though. This is his man room. Let me flip it around so I can walk. All right, so there's my husband. Wait, there he is. And this is the sign. Now it's now it's all flipped backwards. Now it's all flipped backwards. Why? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste time flipping it back again. Okay, so light. This is all the stuff that I was complaining about that we still have to get out of the house because we're combining households and everything Alan owns is precious, right? Oh, but look, there's a picture of me and George when I was in this book a long time ago. My dog George that just passed away. My heart is broken. I was just missing him. Look at that sweet, sweet face. I miss that dog so much. I have so much guilt about his death, it's so sad. Anyway, this is the new rug we bought for the dining room. It's really pretty, right? This is Alan's pride and joy, his bar. And this is the mirror wall that Alan did for me. He told me to get out of the house for about four hours. I don't know if y'all can be able to see, it's kind of dark. He told me to get out of the house for about four hours and he literally, he measured the one in the middle. That one in the middle looks sort of like a sunflower. That was mine, and he moved it in here, and then he measured that one, and then he eyeballed the rest of them. Isn't that crazy? He did that. That was my Christmas present last year, and then he also bought the pillows and the accessories for the uh, couch. We're looking for a new coffee table. The trunk there is just temporary. I bought those Asian end tables. I guess they're Chinese or something at um, one of those neighborhood sales they have, like the neighborhood, um, what was it called, next door? Those food dogs, I love. I got those at a consignment store. I love these food dogs. I need to, I've got too many Asian accents, so I need to back off. That table was Alan's. That lamp's temporary because, I don't know, just there for now. We'll figure it out. That's from Alan's house that he brought his apartment. He brought over and that little table's there temporary. 
This is his infamous vase that a lovely listener suggested turn it around so you don't see the snake, so obviously. That's the that's the infamous vase that I hate. Can you see it? In person it's even more shocking. There you go. Turn it around so you can't see it and it looks bad. Oh, in this magazine they featured us in our engagement story. Kelly Rav is backwards. Kelly Raspberry and Alan Evans modern romance. And it's pictures of our engagement story. Which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it right now. Here it is. Second time, best time. You can see, well, I'm trying, I'm doing this, everything's backwards. You can see it all on our website if you go to kellyandallen.com. It's got all the pictures there. There's that. And when we get the dining room table over there, I'll show you all that too. Did y'all see enough of that? Is that enough? One last one? All right. Alan's talking to everybody on the sandwich with some lemon. Look at this mess. This is why I come home to every day. Can you see my anxiety? This is why I'm so anxious. I don't know what to do. Oh, and this is a picture that a listener, look at this. Isn't that cool? Neon did that. He's working on another one for us right now. Just a bunch of accessories and stuff. We don't know where the heck we're gonna put everything. It's crazy. Oh, and there's the, everything he proposed to me with. See all that? That's cool, right? All right, oh, and this is me when I did Regis Philbin. Remember when I did Live with Kelly? And what well, was Live with Regis at the time? He was looking for a host, remember that? Backwards. That's me with Regis. Cool, cool. All right. All right. Well, sure. Oh, this is the sign Alan made. Evans established 2017. Backwards. Sorry about that. There's his children when he went to the. Oh, gosh. Everything's backwards. There we go. All right. I'm making y'all dizzy moving around. Turn off the light. Are you done? Yeah, I was doing a little tour and showing them all this the mess. It's giving me so much anxiety. Okay, well. All right. Oh, the rug is, thank you. I love that rug. We go to a place, if you're in the Dallas area and you're looking for rugs, oh, Alan sorry. didn't believe me until I took I'm gonna him. i sign off here. So you guys have a good night. And this place, it's, it's on Harry Hines and... Walnut Hill, and it's called Rugs Rugs Mart. Bye. And that man, just tell him Kelly Raspberry. He he. I don't think he knows Kelly Raspberry Evans yet. Tell him Kelly Raspberry sent me, and he'll give you a great deal. Didn't he give a good deal on that rug? Yeah, really good deal. Didn't even ask. I mean, I'm telling you, Rugs Mart on Harry Hines. They're nice rugs Dallas, too. Harry Hines and Walnut Hill. It's right off 35 and Harry Hines. They're nice rugs. They have some in there too, but that. That rug I love. 92.9 KNIN, babe. Wichita Falls. I mm -hmm. grew up listening to that station. We're on there. That's our affiliate. Really? Yeah. That's the station I grew up listening to. Well, you moved before we were on the air there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I haven't listened What's with all the angry faces? Who's angry? Me? Who's angry? I don't... Adding hearts to compensate for the angry faces. Who's making angry faces? Did I do something that made people angry? Oh, I guess they were doing angry face emojis. Oh, I don't know. Did I say something that made people angry? I don't know. Maybe they got up and tense. You like the trunk? I love that trunk, too. That was my um, granny's trunk, but I don't think it works for a coffee table in that room. We need something a little bit more substantial. Oh, there's some, there's angry faces. I saw three angry faces. Why are they angry? I don't know. Maybe they're doing a bit. Look, there's another one. I'm missing it. Do another angry face so I can see it, because I'm not seeing them. There's, mostly, seeing there's mostly hearts and laughs. That looks like a meh face. Lappy, thumbs up. Where's the angry? It just said somebody wanted attention. Oh, there's the angries. There's Did I say something to make everybody angry? I don't remember. Kelly went on Tinder because I heard about it on Kid Craddock. My boyfriend lied to me again. This is May of 2015. Yay! It was a weird bug when people leave the room. I don't know what that means. Someone was putting angry emojis. I keep seeing angry emojis. Okay. I don't look know. Look how defeated we look. What's that from? What's well, from earlier? Oh, you're, they already posted it? No, I didn't post it. Do I cook dinner every night? I try to do something every night. Um, like, I'm very lucky that we had leftovers for the past two, two or three nights. I try to do something every night. Last night, let me tell you, I made a pot of chili with a pound of beef, a whole can of beans, a whole can of tomatoes, a whole onion, um, 
a whole a half a bag of uh, cheese sprinkled on top, and Alan ate the entire thing. I was, I was the in entire babe. Thing. I was in pain last night. I don't know why you ate the whole thing because it was good. It was good. I appreciate that you loved it, but he ate the entire thing, and it was a pound of meat and all that other stuff. So I don't know. Are we having a Halloween party? We talked about having a Halloween no, party. Kelly won't dress up with me. Well, I don't really, I don't really get into dressing up. But I was trying to be a good sport. But I don't think the house is going to be. If anybody wants ready. to dress up with me, you, you're welcome to. My wife won't. Where are you going to go meet them to dress up? Could we share the love like letters on the podcast. We could. If y'all send me some love letters, um, or send us some love letters um, to. What's the email? Pod podcast at kellyandallen.com. Podcast at kellyandallen.com. That way I'll know it specifically for the podcast. Otherwise, I would assume if it was somewhere else, it would meant for the Kidcratic Morning Show. What makes a home a home? Love. I could get some meals made in it. Meals? S sleep in it in a while. Yeah. Alan told me food always tastes better when someone else cooks it. So it really doesn't That's matter true. what I cook as long as he doesn't have to. That's true. Right? Hey, Marion. Yeah, I was born in Mullins. Can you show me a change to your new co-host name? Hmm? You have to repeat that question because I don't get it. Call dibs on what? Once in every morning before school. Yay. Sometimes I don't understand. Met my husband on Tinder. We've been married for a year last August. I went on that because I heard you talking about it. Yay. That's funny. Vanessa what? says dress up is a high five. <laughs> That is funny. I, I wish you hadn't seen that. I wish dress I'd seen up, it and you hadn't. Dress up is a high How am I going to do that? That is a funny bit. That would be so funny. Superheroes and the slingshots for Halloween. Y'all need some sleep. I know. I'm so tired, y'all. You have to thank you. Our home is gorgeous, they said. It'll be better once we get it all, all finished. Home cooked is the best. Yeah. I, I went online. I... If y'all follow me, I'm not really big on Pinterest because I never really got it. I like going on there to look ideas, but I was never pinning stuff. But I found a bunch of, oh, this is still on. I thought I turned it off. Okay, now it's off. Um, I went on there and I was looking for crock pot recipes. So on my Pinterest, which is just still Kelly Raspberry, I pinned a whole bunch of stuff yesterday. Really obnoxious, but I just didn't want to lose the recipes. So I'm going to try some new stuff, babe. Your fiance will high five you. Whatever happened to Taylor? Taylor is in California and she's working for Fox Sports, I believe, in some capacity. She's on um, Facebook, Taylor Glover. Have you ever been to Kenny's Grill in Addison? Yes, I love Kenny's. And I also have Kenny's Italian, but I like the, the grill a lot too. I don't eat those, um, the popovers though. They make me nauseous. They're too rich, they're too eggy, and I, I literally got. A stomach ache last time I tried eating those. I'm from Mullins. Yay. Everything she makes is made with love. That's her secret ingredient. His teeth are so white. That's his number one. His teeth are white and he looks like Negan. That's the two things he gets the most of. Not easy. Get an Instapot. Is an Instapot that much different than a Crock-Pot? Because I've honestly used the Crock-Pot twice <laughs> i don't think i'm ready to upgrade to an instapot jessica vest says i'm drunk too kelly i'm not drunk <laughs> i'm not drunk i'm so tired oh no yeah blue apron i just got back i i let the uh it lapse but that only is like for three nights so i have to think of something the other nights wow marlboro county south carolina we are loved in South Carolina because South Carolina people support each other, don't we? Get me a date with Justin. Mm. Well, Ramon, you could slip into his DMs. Mm. I don't think Elaine is coming back, Faith. I think she's trying to launch a career as a host or something. I think she's hoping Big Brother will launch her into doing something else. Alan's quiet because I'm doing all the talking. So I'm gonna sit back and let Alan take over. I'm bushed. I'm going. Go to, ahead. I'm going to bed. Take unless care. anyone has any questions. You got to read them out loud. That's the thing. Well, none of these are for me, man. We're talking about crock pots here. I got nothing. 
Your ring is blinding me. That's your ring. It's the second wife ring. Negan is a character on the show The Walking Ooh, Dead. Ooh, look at that. Played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Cowboys party. I want to go to a Cowboys party. We're from Louisiana. Victor. Hi, Victor. Fierce. Your ring is fierce, man. It's so good. Oh. Green Sea. Where's Green Sea? What do you use to whiten your teeth? I use this thing called Plus White. You can get it at CVS or Walgreens. It takes five minutes. You just do it like every every other day for two weeks and then I only have to do it like once every six months to a year. But you went and had your dentist make trays. You didn't mm -hmm. use the trays that came with it. Yeah, he made me a custom tray. And then he uses Colgate Optic White. And I just use that every day. And he flosses every time he brushes. Yeah, I feel weird if I don't floss. Rosalinda, I'm tired too. And I'm watching I know, you. we're exhausted. <laughs> I've got to go to bed. Are you vegan with all those carrots? Carrots? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Did y'all see Wendy Williams? They had her, I think it was page6.com, had her on the beach in Barbados today, and she's gone vegan, and she is, except for her big breastuses, she is Dang. so thin. Well, she has fake boobs. She is so thin, they say she's been vegan. And I don't know what vegans are supposed to do. Who is Wendy besides Williams? Eating, she's the host of that talk show, Wendy Williams Show. Oh. But what do vegans eat besides vegetables? I think that's it. There's got to be something else. Because you can't just eat vegetables, right? What do you eat for proteins? Like legumes? Hey, baby, you want to come be on the, pod, or the Facebook Live? My daughter's getting ready to go to bed, too. We're all getting ready to go to bed. Come here, babe. She's bushed. Hello. This is my daughter, Emma Kelly. Hello. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody about basketball today. Oops. Speak up, though. Speak up. It was hard. It was hard. Why? Because we had to run 18 sprints across because people weren't shouting the um, numbers, but we didn't know when to do it. It was confusing. It was confusing, and it was so hard because I had to sit there and keep my mouth shut. But the coach was awesome. She's a female coach. I've got to get her resume. I think she's played in the Olympics or something. She got too. to meet the president. She got to meet the president. It was a very big deal. But she told Emma Kelly, she said, I'm going to pick on you because you're the tallest in this class. And, you know, she's tall. And she said, you use that height to your advantage. You crush those other girls that are smaller than you right in front of the other girls. And then she told the little girls, don't y'all let her crush you, but you crush them. It was just so great. She said, there's no crying in basketball. Tears don't work on the court, right? And you didn't cry. I was so proud of you. She wanted to. I wanted to. <laughs> we didn't cry. That was good. Thank you. They say you're beautiful. Hi, Emma Kelly. Thanks. <laughs> no products that come from animals in any way. Uh -huh. uh, I have to get up products from animals. So I can eat everything else? So I can eat well, flour? Any, so no, nothing with milk in it. Well, I can eat flour. So I can eat, like, sugar. I can eat sugar and flour as a vegan. I don't think vegan. Talking about vegan diets. You know what vegan diet is? Uh, no. No. No meat. Yeah, it's like all nothing that comes from an animal, but that's too hard because I like food. Yeah. I like all food except for liver. That's gross. Have you had liver? Yeah, at Passover. You had liver? I tried it. Brooke, Brooke likes everything. Ah, uh, his daughter eats everything. I think like liver. We saw you in Fredericksburg. Oh, yay! Oh, yeah. My daughter's 6'2 and dominated in sports. You'll do awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, my coach was 5'10 at 10 years old. Yeah, 5'10 at 10. And Kelly, you have a great smile. Thanks. So does Alan. Eat all the sugar you want. You should try having Emma Kelly wear the big bows you had her wear as a baby. No. But you love looking back at pictures of yourself with the big bows, don't you? I love looking at them, but wearing them. Now you look pretty cute. She was bald for like two years, so I put the biggest photos I could find on her. <laughs> and everybody that would pass us in the mall when I was pushing her straw, they would just light up and smile. I was like, there's why you do it right there. The bigger the bow, the more ridiculous the bow, the bigger people smiled. Peanuts and a Dr. Pepper is all you need. That's right. No animals harmed in peanuts and Dr. Pepper. Can you read the questions, honey? Hi, Kelly and Alan. Emma Kelly. God, Lord, has laughed the last time. I don't know. I can't read it. Terry, it gets too fast, doesn't it? 
So beautiful like your mama. Love you guys. Such a beautiful family. Thank you. Also, extreme vegans don't use cosmetics from testing animals. Wow. Well, I didn't know all that's, that. That's, uh, we shouldn't. Any of us do that. Poor animals. You need to bring that song back. What song? Emma Kelly's so cute. I'm exhausted too. Pampas grass has my allergies. Emma Kelly's got horrible allergies. She's, have you done your drops today? No. She oh, just so drops under her tongue. And apparently if she sticks to it, like within three years, I believe they said, if she done the shots, it would have gone a lot quicker. Babe, but she don't want to do I'm shots. I'm out. All right, this I'll is called my drops. You didn't. There you go. Just Bye, time. guys. I'll Text stay. and allergy does it. I'll I know. Stay. We got to go to bed, though. Here, baby, take this, please. I just got here, though. I got and take that so we don't... Scooch. Okay. I've really got to go to bed. What time is it now? You put them under your tongue. 9.30. We got to get going. You got to go to bed, too. You got school. Moon pie. What's your favorite music now? Um, um, you two. You two. You two. Her teacher last year loved you too. She's using her allergy drops under her tongue. They say within like three years that I guess they gradually with each bottle of these drops, which are sweet and she doesn't even mind taking them, that um, I guess they're act gradually exposing her to what she's allergic to, which is everything. Oh, my battery's going low. And um, she's supposed to be free of allergies. When am I going to see you again and meet Alan? Chelsea, are you back? Are you back in Dallas? So much to sign on. She missed you. Uh, Kelly and Emma Kelly with a... Kelly, Emma Kelly's with a Y. Because I thought Emma Kelly with an I didn't look right. And everybody misspelled my name. So I thought they would spell hers correctly. But now everybody assumes she spells it like me. And they misspell it sometimes, right? Can you remember the baby bump song? Yes. My bump, my lovely baby bump. My bump, my bump, my bump. My lovely lady bump. Check it out. I did that. What does Emma Kelly think about Taylor Swift's new song? Um, I like it. I just don't like what it's about. What's it about? It's about, like, um, she's, like, making a comeback song about all the haters, but I don't like how she's putting it, like... I don't know. You don't like it because she sounds what? Like she like I liked her bet. She's like, I'm sorry, the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because she's dead? That like, was shocking, wasn't it? Like like I liked her before because she was so nice. You like the sweet Taylor. Uh -huh, not this Taylor because yeah. she's weird. But you know what? Taylor hasn't spoken yet, so maybe she'll still be the same Taylor when she starts, you know, coming out and doing. My stuff. teacher's related to Walt Disney. Her teacher's name is Miss Disney. She's and Kelly, is it embarrassing that everyone knows your mom? Tell the truth. Uh, no. But people are like, I heard your mom on the radio. Is that her job or something? Yeah, yeah. There's one kid that tells me everything. That you do because I miss it, and he's always listening. So. You don't listen? I do. I just miss it a lot. She's been taking the bus, so she's been missing the radio. Show everyone the evil eye. Alan wants you to show everybody the evil eye. Did he write that? Yeah. <laughs> you got to get it more closer to it. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful like I'm gonna change the channel after that song. Well, it's a little it seems so angry, right? Who's your favorite singer? You too. You too. Her teacher last year loved you too. There's something moving behind you that disappears. Is it a hoax? What? Mm -hmm. I don't see anything. Shout out to Jordan Moore. She's making me a granny. Aw. Kelly Clarkson song. Does name Kelly like it? Have you heard the new Kelly Clarkson song? No. Yeah, I need to play that for you. She was in school when we interviewed her. Alan's in bed. He's telling me he's in bed. Hey, Scranton, PA. Cried at the video. Happy tears. And Kelly's so pretty. Thanks, what did you Alan. think of the wedding? What did you think of the wedding, babe? I liked it, but I cried after the ceremony. Why? Because I was happy. She was so happy she had like an after uh, and like, meltdown. Like, it's going to be okay. You're like, it's okay. It's I'm happy. Okay. I'm happy. What's your favorite U2 song? Uh, Sunday Bloody Sunday. God, Sunday Bloody Sunday. It's not that bad. It's about a massacre. 
<laughs> Everyone thinks it's yeah, so not a bad. It's about a massacre. I don't know what that is. That's where a lot of people get slain, oh. Mur oh. killed. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, not good. Well, I mean, like it's a good tune. She likes the beats. Dun, 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 dun. But I also like with or without you. Yeah, I like that one too. She's so creamy. Alan's now singing. <sighs> All right, we gotta go. No. Oh, I still got to talk. All right, we're going to let you no. talk for like three more minutes. My battery's going dead on my phone, number one, and you've got to go to bed. Ask me questions, people. <laughs> so shy. Say hey. Kelly, have you introduced her to Duran Duran? What oh, do you think of Duran Duran? No. What does that mean? I You're just know. trying to be funny. No, I don't know what... I don't know any other songs. Her name is Rio and she Ooh, My favorite country singer is um um Carrie Underwood. Yeah, she knows all the songs to words to that song that she should not know. I don't even know. Well honey, sing it right if you can sing it. No. Ooh, oh, 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 she asked me a question. Oh. Okay, so I want to be a photographer or a teacher or an artist or um um uh, a journalist or or a fashion designer. So that is. We love watching Project Runway together. Yes, I'm going to her treating. I want to be a pickle because I'm going to be an idiot. I'm going to pickle. Get it? You're going to be what? Be, I'm going to be a pickle because, um, you know, idioms. I'm in the pickle. I'm going to be in a pickle. You're going to be an idiom? <laughs> Smart people. Where are we getting a pickle costume? I don't know, but uh, I don't really want to be in the radio. What is your favorite and least favorite subject in school? Ooh, I don't like math. And my favorite is reading, because that's easy. Ooh, I want to go to Clemson or UCLA. Why? I don't know. Tell the truth. Because um, all my friends want to go to UCLA, and they have to ask Scott if Clemson is tired. And I love Harry Styles. She wants to go to Clemson because they have a tiger mascot. Okay, what? Oh, I already answered that question. But it's reading. We have to ask the question because people that are watching don't know which question you're answering. So say the question okay. and then answer it. More questions, people. Oh, um, the slime question. Uh, I know how to make slime. I don't use borax, but um, I accidentally left all my slime sitting out, so I had to throw it away. But, but I, it was really not that messy, the one you made. You did a great job. I put down a plastic tablecloth on the floor and let her, I told her, you make the mess, you got to clean it up. And it was really, you did a good job. I told you. But the ingredients you need are, are some, if you want to make fluffy slime, you need shaving cream, but you need glue, food coloring. I use Tide as a good activator. And I used lotion, so it could be stretchier. It smelled good. It smells really good, yeah. And lotion made it stretchier? But don't... I added water so I could show my little brothers what it would do. I didn't know what it would do, though. And then it was to my first slime. It was really good before I added water. And then But when I added water, it was so stiff. And don't add water to fluffy slime. It's not good. Where'd you get the recipe for it? Um... Was it a YouTube video? No, I... Knew that you needed glue, of course, because that's how you make your slime and food coloring. And if you wanted to make the fluffy slime, it's shaving cream. But I didn't know. I mean, Brooke, my sister Brooke, told me that it would be good to use um, lotion to mm -hmm. make it stretchy. But I heard that Tide is a really good activator for it, and it's better than Borax. Borax is bad. Do you have any clubs at school? So, which ones? Um, I'm not at at school, but I do art at Jay's Art, and I do basketball at PSA. 10% battery in my club. My... Please say Caroline Dennis. Say Caroline Dennis. Caroline Dennis. Cats, cats are dogs. I'm allergic to cats, and I love doggies. Hey, Florence. Alicia Miller Cisco. Oh, we're going to bed. No, no. My phone's about to No, die. Adam White. We are not going to bed. We're staying up all night. I just got my lashes done today. Thank you, Jessica. Oh, well, siblings 
are fun, but they're also a pain. <laughs> they fight like so. Okay, so um, my little brother has the flu, and he got it from my other brother, and so they're sick. And my little brother's about to turn five. He's so cute. Tide liquid, she wants to know? Yes, tide yes. liquid. And I use the one that's like blue, but I've seen pink ones, so use blue, it's best. Hey, Myrtle Beach. How many times? I've been in my mom's job. I don't even know. I haven't counted. But it's really fun. I answer phone calls to people. So when I'm there, you should really call me because I'll answer you probably. Maybe if you get into the phone thing. Katy Perry held her when she was a baby. <laughs> got a picture of that. All right, we got to go. Do you still love JC? Um... Yeah, but then he got married. So apparently I got mad, but... Yeah, she did not like when he got married. She was the flower girl. And she was not happy. Alright, I gotta go. No. Baby, I've gotta go. My okay. phone's about to die. Hi from San Antonio, Kentucky. Hey, Kelly, when is EK allowed today? Tomorrow! <laughs> I'm gonna tell him who you like. No! <laughs> <laughs> I hate everyone for Don't say that. Don't I like, say that. I like people, but not boys. They're weird. <laughs> I need to be in theater. I want right. to be at the plane that the children are standing at. That would be fun. Okay. So Why do you keep doing this? It's in my hair. It's in my way. It's so in the way. <laughs> what? What? L-O-L. Good night. No, 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 I'm not going to bed. You can, though, if you want. Baby, my phone's about to die. I've got to. No, until it goes away. I don't want my phone to completely die. I'm... Oh, I'll dab. Okay, excuse me. Don't look at yourself. Dab without... Do it right. All right. Okay, All right, that's you go. your good night, Dad. No. Well, thank you for saying I'm too cute. And I don't <laughs> know where Woodville, Texas is, but it must be a cool place. I like art and books and music. What does that mean? What? And palm dada. Panadas. They're, they're, well, they're Let your mom pastry. sleep. No. Yeah, we're going to bed. No, she can sleep. Thank I you. I don't want to. Good night. No. Thank you. Say good night. Bye, Dad.